Good afternoon, gardening friends. It's January 4th at a little past 1 o'clock. I figured I'd done a bunch of little updates here, uh, little changes. And so anyway, here's the uh, the lima bean, the uh, tomato, the broom corn. I've been sort of cleaning up the plants. I'm actually, just going to show you. I got a bunch of stuff on the ground here from doing that. I'll sweep all that up. Uh, we got the chamomile doing nicely. You can kind of see the sun's coming in nicely. Uh, we still got some pine needles left over from that uh, tree that has now been cut down. Uh, so we've got basil, 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 <laughs> all in the line. Um, oh, I think the uh, volunteer over here is actually not a volunteer. I actually tried planting some more basil. That one finally popped. Um, we got something growing in here. I'm not quite sure what it is. And another volunteer over here. Might be more basil. Don't know yet. Uh, we got another planter here, which I think I planted a bunch of marigold in. And we've got a few little blooms, but they might just be weeds too. I don't know. Broom corn again. Sort of try and go up without. There's one really tall one goes up to the neighbor's apartment practically. Um, and over here, the one that was in here uh, fell over and was pretty much dead. So I yanked it and planted these seeds off of that one. So it's I'm planting seeds for the same plant right in the same area. Cleaned up the marigold so that it's not totally obvious here. Um, Somewhere in here, I, th I think I threw in some more broom corn too. Um, I'm going to see if it, marigold and broom corn will grow together. Here we've got the memorial planter. Nothing yet. We got more marigold. And now you start to see some of the newer stuff. Uh, some of these plants are actually from the old courtyard back where I used to live. Uh, we got more marigold. Another marigold got the tomato branch that uh, snapped off and then I decided to actually cut it off cleanly and, and try and transplant it and see what happens. It still looks sick but it's still alive if that makes any sense. Uh, the watermelon plant I cut off one of the little stringers. I left the one that's still connected to the watermelon. It really doesn't look like much and I'm not sure what that is in there. It looks kind of like chamomile but uh, I'm not sure. Moved some other stuff around. These are some of the tall zinnia uh, seedlings that I'm trying to grow. They were only planted a few days ago, so I'm not expecting much. Uh, we've got the stock incarnations. See if anything grows there. I uh, don't remember what this was. I really need to look at my own video and start labeling the plants again. Another one. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, somewhere in here I think I have a squash. There's another one of the seedlings for the tall zinnia. And something else here, uh, seedlings for the tall zinnia. Um, so that's it inside here. Let me show you what else is going on. I forgot to mention from the inside that we have this one plant from the other side, which is supposed to be like a flowering bush or something. Uh, you can kind of see it's starting to look kind of like a uh, stem from a tree or a bush. Um, but I transplanted it out here where I know it'll get a lot of sun and we'll see what happens. Here we've got the tall zinnia looking rather sickly. Um, we'll just have to see. If you look around here you can kind of see we've, our landscapers are working. But uh, I'll just show you the other end. Now if you remember from last year, <clears throat> this is the bed where we had a number of pots that had been left behind by prior tenants uh, stuck in the bushes for some reason and then the bushes got overgrown and I didn't see the pots until one day when I was trying to clean you can see like we have a light at the base of the tree here I was trying to clean in some areas so that the lights would actually get through the bushes and up to the trees where they're supposed to be anyway I have pulled most of the pots out I've left two pots the rest of them I'll swing around I've got kind of a mess going over here, um, but I've been going through them trying to figure out where to put them all. And I left the roses here. These two pots are roses, and I left them because they're rather special to one of my neighbors. And I thought it would be kind of nice while I got the landscapers here and while I got them clearing the bed and doing all these plantings and 
Um, I'm basically going to have them put, if I can, one more of these bushes over in this corner to kind of cover up this whole gas thing. But I'm going to have them plant that rose bush. That should give it a lot more life because right now it's just in that pot. I did ask them about the rose over in this pot and they said that it's likely that it, or well, there's a chance it doesn't survive the transplant because it's such a big pot. Um, I guess it's just a, such a shock to the plant. I did ask them if they could maybe cut it back and then transplant it. They just didn't seem to want to do it, which I can understand. They don't want to take a risk on somebody's existing plant. So anyway, that's kind of what our things are back here. There are a couple of other plants that I need to show you. This is a view which I really haven't been able to give you before, mainly because I'm standing on the balcony of one of the apartments, uh, which if there was a tenant in here, I wouldn't be out on their balcony. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, but this uh, has been rented, but it happens to be vacant at the moment. So here we are. That is, if you haven't figured it out by now, that used to be a swimming pool. Let me kind of swing around a little bit up on this balcony. And you can kind of see the sort of kidney shape. And behind that is what was the pool shed, the pool house, whatever you want to call it, um, is now we've repurposed it for a few different things. But now if I zoom in a little bit, let's see if I can actually remember how to do this. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm back on the old camera. So, oh, I'm going to have to stop and zoom. Okay, we're back. Now, it's a little bit shaky because I zoomed in, but I'm on the railing, so hopefully that'll steady it. But you can see there's a couple of pots there. Those pots used to be in the back. And I just figured we had kind of a blank wall up against the, uh, the shed and the pool house, whatever you want to call it, and it needed a little pop of color. So that's what I did. I took the most colorful plants from back there, and I put them out here. Good afternoon, gardening friends. It is, uh, uh, sorry, not December, January. Oh, and by the way, I do know that I made a mistake about December 21st when it was the 31st. It is January the 6th at a little past noon. Just wanted to show you not a whole lot of update out here uh, to the main garden, but I've decided to do a couple of planters with some old pots that I had. Um, and this is really kind of what it looks like when it's almost finished. You can kind of see a lot of color in there. That is marigold, which when my marigold flowers go by, I save the flower heads, separate them out, and make seeds out of it. And they grow very well in that form. Uh, I've also added in some of the zinnia seeds from that ridiculously tall zinnia, and threw in some broom corn just for good measure. The plan is to put these out uh, in a particular area nearby. Um, I'll show you in a second. I just want to show you after I after I get them all sort of sewn sewn on the top there, I throw just a little bit more dirt on top, just so that they're kind of buried. Um, that gives them a chance to germinate. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more dirt on that one, and I'm gonna leave them here on the table uh, until I actually manage to build more of my shelves and have a place to actually put them. But they'll stay on the table for a little bit. And I'm gonna, let me show you now where I'm going to actually go put them. All right, so I think I've already kind of showed you this. I've got one plant here, another plant over here. They were kind of stragglers from the back, but they're, this one's getting a good amount of sun. This one will probably get some good sun later. I got a little small plant here, but when you get the overall sort of picture running around, there's still quite a bit of blank wall here. So that's what I want to do with those planters is maybe I'll put a couple of them, put one over here, and one over there, and I may come up with some more of those planters, and then I can put them up along this blank wall over here. But the idea is just to get a pop of color in here, because let's see if I can give you a better view. There, it gives you a better sort of larger picture of what this all looks like. So anyway, that's the hope, and now that I'm manager, I can try and give it a pop of color. So, we'll see what happens.